Hi guys, welcome to the first Raw Reaction where I talk about last night's episode of Raw. Okay, so getting things started, we still have the storyline with Rey Mysterio and the Judgment Day and Rey Mysterio bringing back the LWO. LWO. Um, love that. I was a huge NWO fan. I like the Wolfpack. I know there are some people that don't, but I did like the Wolfpack. LWO wasn't bad. A little homage to Eddie Guerrero with that as well. So uh, good stuff. Kind of getting sick of uh, of Dom getting in in Mysterio's way. You know, it's I'm ready to move past it. Um, looks like this storyline is in here for the long haul. Coming away from WrestleMania, um, Rev Rod. Rochelle Rodriguez and Liv Morgan beat Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus to win the WWE Women's Tag Team Titles. Um, not a big shock there to me. Um, in my first video, I talked about WWE kind of being a little predictable, and this was one of those things that was a little predictable. Uh, Liv didn't show a ton of uh, emotion winning the title, but Rodriguez breaking down and crying, and you can see it in the ring, and um, as they're walking back to the entrance. Um, the big thing that comes out of this is Trish Stratus um, had to step in because Lita was attacked, probably by Trish. Um, they end up losing the titles, and then Trish turns on Becky Lynch. Shocker. Everybody saw it coming. It was super predictable. And, you know, it's kind of showing maybe that Vince is back in control of creative. Um, a complaint I have with Raw is they, I just feel like they're kind of just throwing matches together. Because Bobby Lashley versus Bronson Reed, um, first of all, was not a good match. And it, it just wasn't. Uh, Bronson did not showcase the athleticism that WWE and what I have seen from him advertise. So, and then it ends out ends in a double count out because they don't want to give Bronson Reed a loss. He's undefeated on Raw, so they find the coward's way out and double count him out. That yeah, it was lame, and it and the match just didn't. You're just throwing it together. It doesn't really have a storyline. They're just kind of throwing matches together to see what sticks on the wall. Um, another another uh, match that kind of goes with that is the Usos um, going against the Alpha Academy. Now, obviously, we all know the Usos are going to beat the Alpha Academy. Um, I love the shoosh thing, but the match really just didn't make sense, you know? Um Cody Rhodes comes out, talks about what Brock Lesnar did, how WrestleMania ended, and how he didn't finish his story. And then predictability hits again as Cody says, I want to fight Brock Lesnar at WWE Backlash. Everybody saw it coming. They advertised all week how Cody was going to address his future, and we already know what his future is. He's going after Brock, right? It's going to be a great match. Um, hopefully, it's not a short one. Um, I want to see Brock still kind of go like he did back in the day. Um, Cody's great. Probably going to hit a ton of Cody cutters. Um, I'm for it. Um, and then to wrap it up, we wrap it up with a bloodline, which is probably the best thing that WWE has going for them right now. Um, so, uh, Solo Sokoa, you know, getting in there with Kevin Owens. I love Kevin Owens, a uh, big man that is athletic, knows what he's doing, um, sells things well. Um, love Kevin Owens. I uh, love the dinosaur tattoo he's got too. That's pretty tight. But like, um, Judgment Day, you know, Bloodline getting involved, trying to, do a three-on-one on KO, and then Riddle and Sami Zayn come in. And it finally looks like Sami 
is ready to give up on main event Jay Uso and take care of the bloodline. I am curious to see where this continues to. Obviously, it's going to be another storyline that WWE is in for the long haul, and rightfully so, because it probably is the best thing they have going for them. What did you guys think about la uh, last night's episode? What would you like to see WWE do here on Raw to make things a little less predictable? Let me know in the comments. Share, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. This has been Raw Reaction.